Hi, Anthony from Retail Edge. In Retail Edge 8.2.76, we introduced a new customer facing display option. This new customer display option offers you a way to enhance the customer experience in store and provides options that a traditional two line display could not. This display allows you to use a secondary screen that not only shows sales information to your customers, but allows you to display images, videos, and even websites for a truly unique experience at the point of sale. In this video, we'll go over how to configure Retail Edge to set up this feature. In Retail Edge, select Tools, Settings, Workstations, Modify your workstation, select the Customer Display tab. To enable the customer facing display, select Enable. To select the display you would like to use for the customer facing display, in this drop down, select your display. If you're unsure of which screen to select, in Windows, go to your Start menu, select Settings, go to System, and under Display, you can go ahead and select Identify, and Windows will show you a number. Take note of that number, and then back in Workstation Settings, select the display. Next is the Sales Grid font size. The default option is 12. So once we get this saved and, and started, take note of the way the items load. If you'd like the items to appear smaller or larger, you can go ahead and change the grid font size. And then also we have the show register status, show open versus closed when you're in a sales session. I'm gonna go ahead and toggle that on and we'll select save. There we go. Because my register is currently closed from the status of retail edge at the top, you can see at the bottom of the customer facing display, it's showing as register is closed. This gives your customers an indicator whether which lane is are open or not. Now let's go into a sales screen, enter in our starting cash amount, and let's go ahead and load some items. So right now you can see the items are loading kind of small in that grid. Let's go ahead and make a modification to increase that font size. Close the sales screen, go back to our workstation settings, customer display, and let's increase that. Let's go from a 12 to a 16. Hit save. Go back into a sales screen and load our items again. Well, that looks a little bit better, but that's how you would go ahead and modify the font size in that the customer facing display. Back in the workstation settings, there are two tabs for media. Media settings while idle will allow you to set media to display while you're not in a sales screen. And the media settings during sales will allow you to have certain media play while the customer is checking out. First, let's set up while idle. The idle mode top panel caption allows you to set a uh, message at the top of the customer facing display. Uh, traditionally in two line displays, this would be a welcome to your store or any other messaging that you would like to appear uh, towards your customers. In the drop down, you can set what the action would be. So let's set it to scrolling. I already have a message in here, top of display. I'm gonna select save so we can see what that looks like. And you can see the message slowly crawling across the screen. Let's go ahead, take a look, go back into workstation settings, go to while idle, and let's set it to static centered. Hit save so you can see what that looks like. And we're gonna modify again and take a look at the other option left justified. I like the center justification a little bit more, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. But in your case, you can go ahead and select whichever one you like. All right, so now let's go ahead and select what type of media to display on the screen. You'd go ahead and select files and go ahead and bring that over. And let's say I just want to display an image. Hit save and the screen refreshed with just the image. Well, let's say I want to instead choose a video. Go to customer display. We're editing while idle. And let's go ahead and select a different file. Uh, and let's say I want to just display the video, not the 
not the image. Hit save. And now my custom display is displaying that video. You can even do websites. So I'm going to go ahead, modify. Custom display while idle. Unselect that. Let's go ahead and go to retailedge.com. Hit save. And there we go. So you can go ahead and select any website uh, that you like. So if on your own uh, business website, you have a page that you would like to customize and have displayed for your customers, you can go ahead and select that page. But that's how you would set those settings for while the sales screen is idle. So back in workstation settings, let's say I wanted to have more of a slideshow presentation. You can go ahead and list several different uh, files here or websites. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just select our video of our coin again. And um, I'm going to select, uh, let's say also an image. This idle mode slideshow interval between each selected is uh, set in seconds. So right now it's set to every 10 seconds. But for the sake of speed, I'm going to go ahead, change it to five seconds should slideshow between these three options. Go ahead, hit save. And there you go. It's shuffling between the different options. Now let's switch over to the media settings during sales. Once again, this will allow you to have certain media play while customers are checking out. Go ahead and select the media settings during sales tab. Similar to before, you can set a uh, sales mode top uh, panel caption. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it set to none. And once again, very similar to the other tab, you can go ahead and select your files. I'm just gonna copy and paste two things over into the sales mode sideshow interval. I'm gonna leave that at 10 seconds. A little bit more stable. How much of the display should the sales grid occupy? Now this allows you to customize how much space is being taken on your customer facing display between the items being listed for the sale and media that you select. The media feed location uh, allows you to set the different areas on the sale screen where the media will play instead. So we're gonna go ahead, leave that at right for now, and we'll show you what that looks like. So if we go into a sales screen and load our first items, and you can see now that the the sales screen is split between the media, the website, wh whatever you selected to display at the time of sale. So that's a 50-50 split with the right adjustment. Let's go ahead, close the sales screen, modify our workstation. Let's say if I want to do more of a top-down split, we'll have the media display at the bottom, hit save. Go into a sales screen. And there we have it. That's how you would set up the new customer facing display in Retail Edge. If you like the content we were putting up, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit that as well. If you'd like to find out some more information about us, please visit us at RetailEdge.com. Have a great day.